Following the victory of Republican Glenn Youngkin in Virginia, former President Donald Trump is claiming that this somehow proves his election fraud conspiracies. We have a very corrupt election process in this country. Well, you look at uh, you look at the Virginia results last night. I was chairman of your campaign of Virginia 16 and 20. Uh, they say we lost in 2020 by by 10 percent. Uh, Younger yeah. turns around I a year later, that. wins it by two percent. How do you get the kind of a turnaround in one year? Yeah, I don't believe that we lost it. I don't believe we lost Virginia. And I thought I think they tried to get away with murder at Fairfax, but there were too many eyes on it. This say, you know, when I when I ran, it was one of 50 states plus other areas. Okay, the islands, etc. We have places that nobody ever heard of, and uh, you got to see what a what a mess. What a mess, this election process. No, I don't believe it. I've heard Virginia's blue and all that. I never believed it was blue. Mag, it turned out. And then uh, we got them so so much that we had even, you know, numbers comparable to mine. And they said, oh, he's more popular. Instead of giving us credit, they start saying, oh, he's more popular than Trump. You know, it's unbelievable. I didn't, by the way, and I didn't, I never campaigned in Virginia. I was told you can't win Virginia. I disagree. And when you look at numbers in other states, like as an example, you go out to California where they send out, I think it's 36 million ballots or something. There's no way out that out a place like that, that California is that skewed to the Democrats. There's just no way. I think it's a total ripoff. I mean, you look at what goes on in California with the voting. A Republican, it's impossible. They send out tens of millions of ballots. And any time they send ballots, you know, it's a, it's a hard slog for a Republican. Okay, so wait now. The guy that you endorsed wins in Virginia, and somehow that's proof of fraud in the 2020 election. Now, interestingly enough, had Terry McAuliffe won, as he was expected to, immediately Donald Trump, no matter what would have happened, Donald Trump still would have sent the same thing. Election fraud. Massive fraud, so much fraud. Everybody's telling me about the fraud. Uh, okay, right, sure. Now, here's the thing. Democrats didn't turn out because Democrats failed to do the things for the voters. A again, Youngkin, understand Youngkin ran on critical race theory being taught in schools, which is not being taught in K-12 schools. It's just not. Uh, it's, it's, again, it, it's only being taught at, as a, a college-level course Yes, in some Virginia colleges, but not in K through 12 schools. It's complete bullshit. It's a, it's a nonsense argument that was made up, but chuds love it. Chuds love it, and they, and they turn out. And they're like, oh my God, how dare you uh, teach kids about racism? Ooh, critical race theory. I can't define what it is. I have no idea, but it sounds bad and scary. I better turn out and defeat it. Well, good job. Good job. You won. You won. Now critical race theory will no longer be taught, because it never was, um, in, in Virginia. Uh, congratulations. What a win. But understand, that's, that's how it works, right? <laughs> so the Republicans, they, they give people a reason to turn out, and they do, even if it's the bullshit lie. Democrats, unfortunately, are like, well, we're not going to actually do anything to help you, but please vote for me, because the other guys are terrible. Have you seen the other guys? Wait, wait, hold on. Why would anybody want to vote for a party that consistently sabotages itself in order to please corporate donors? A, a bunch of losers. Incredibly sad. Baby. But look, man, everything uh, Trump says comes back to voter fraud uh, and everything the Democrats say, unfortunately, seems to come back to Donald Trump, at least when it comes to establishment Democrats. Uh, it's just this stupid and vicious cycle where nothing gets done for the American people. Again, I don't have to tell you that there was no voter fraud in 2020, right? No mass voter fraud. It's, it's made up like critical race theory or, you know, the anti-vax nonsense. It's not real, but guess what? It gets voters out. It gets the chuds out. You know what gets Democratic voters out? Policy. Policy wins. Improving the material conditions of your family. You know, doing actual governing. That's what makes Democrats turn out. Now, that's the difference, too. The chuds love getting lied to. Oh, no, they're teaching kids how to hate white people. Don't worry, though. Let me 
uh, to fix the problem that I just made up. And that's what it is, culture war stuff. They just make things up. They, I'm against that. I can't believe the Democrats are doing the thing that I just made up. Elect me and I'll fix it and I'll prevent that. And they say, oh my God, yes, let's vote for him. But the Democrats are like, oh, yeah, you, you know what? I want to do higher wages. Oops, parliamentarian uh, said no, but that's okay. I'll do something about climate change. Oops, the literal coal baron that is somehow part of the Senate also says no, but don't worry. I'll raise taxes on billionaires. Oops, my billionaire donor said no. What could we do? Here's some means tested scraps. I mean, historic progress. Whereas Trump's insane pandering and content lying about the election and all the culture war stuff, it works on their base because at least they have the appearance of solving the problem or trying to solve a problem, even if they've made up the problem. We get none of that from corporate Democrats. We get no actual solutions to problems, no actual policies to hang our hats on. And that's why we lose. That's how we lose. And, and by the way, only when Republicans get power and they fuck up so bad, do Democrats win. Because people are like, oh my God, what a fucking disaster. I can't believe we voted for the leopards eating faces, you know, people's faces party. And then our faces got eaten. I guess we'll go with the Democrats who, who aren't that bad, uh, but we expect them to actually do things. Oh, oops, the Democrats didn't do anything. <sighs> So, again, like, it's just a constant cycle of, oh, my God, these people are horrible. Let's vote in someone else. Oh, these people are uh, just really, really disappointing because they didn't do anything. Let's try someone else. And on and on and on and on and on. And so the only fraud here really is the system that forces us to be trapped in this cycle. And the only kind of system that creates monstrous people like Donald Trump in the first place. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and share with your friends. You can subscribe and help out the channel by becoming a patron. It's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf, or you can become a channel member as well by hitting the join button below.